Hey everybody, it's Andrew here, and as you can see, we are in the in the middle of trying to rescue Jebediah from the lonely, cold Drez orbit that he was in. Um, so this should be interesting. Um, I'm just gonna wait till I get to this maneuver node here and. Um, whoa. Yeah, it doesn't take much to move that, does it? Okay, stop. Right there. Point four is plenty close. Okay. Alright, that burn is in just a couple more seconds, though it probably doesn't matter when we do it, actually. Go for this right now. Okay. Alright, let's see how we're looking now. Uh well we pushed our orbit out quite a bit, but that's okay. Alright, in just a couple more seconds, I'm going to try to stop myself here. Let's see, where are we in relation to it? Just a little bit behind it. So let's see. Yeah, that's what we want to do. Alright, 35 seconds. It shouldn't take very many seconds to... Uh, to stop ourselves uh, to... Uh, laps that 35 uh, meter per second difference there. Alright, that looks good. 20 seconds or so. And, okay. Super close now. Alright, we can just burn right for it, I think. Or, uh, here we go. Okay, so now we're moving at it at one meter per second, which is excellent. And can we time accelerate? Of course not. So kind of stuck here. Let's make sure to control from here. Okay. And uh, can we switch yet? Okay, we can. Let's make sure this guy. Oh, wrong way. Let's point you in this direction. Okay, and switch back. Okay, so now they're both facing the right way. I think. So let's control from here. Let's once again set that as the target. And. Okay, let's just move our trajectory up a little bit. So we're kind of leading it just a little bit. Let's put our gear up because that does not need to be down. Okay, come on. Okay, it's broken so it can't go up. Okay, let's also get into chase camera mode here. Makes things a little bit simpler. Still kind of difficult to make out exactly which way uh, we need to orient ourselves here. Looks like this way, maybe. Maybe like that. Alright. Oh, do we lose sight of things here? 
Where did uh where did it go? Aha. Just get it going like this. Still moving towards it, which is good. slow down just a tad. Maybe even a little bit more. Okay, one meter per second. Let's get that a little bit further down. Now, if I could just see which way to align myself. here. No, I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, just trying to go towards it best I can. Stop, 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 stop. And go back. Okay, I need to go up. Oh, I wish I didn't have to do this on the night side here. tilting my head all sorts of funky ways here. Okay. Alright. This way a little bit, please. Forward a little bit and down a little bit. Down a little bit. S slow down. Oh man, go up, go forward. Okay, how close are we? Very hard to tell. No, we'll go this way. Oh crap, oh I totally missed it. Almost at RCS, so. Alright, just gotta take this nice and easy here. so close. Ah, damn it. It's very hard in the dark with the perspective that I have. Go 
down. Nerve-wracking. Let's see. No, let's go like this. need to get them to touch and then eventually hopefully the magnets will activate Ooh, let's uh, go ahead and switch that off there oh, I know you want to do it come on yeah, they're gonna go eventually they're just gonna hang around for a bit here of moving it the wrong direction. Come on. Oh, so close. Ugh, can't possibly be any closer than that. Let's turn off SAS. There we go. Ugh. It's always the SAS that messes you up. Alright, well, let's go ahead and deactivate that engine there. We're not going to need that anymore. Oh boy. Alright. Let's make sure to control from here. No, we definitely want to control from here. And, okay. Okay, so I know this looks crazy, but it might just work, right? We have lots, we have like seven parachutes. I mean, maybe we can land this whole thing in one piece, right? If not, uh, whoops. Okay. Oop. Okay. Whoa. It's a pretty extreme angle. If I can get rid of all my speed by the time these parachutes deploy, just maybe, just maybe I can land this whole deal. Which would be really cool and save me of having to go back and get Bill later. Because um, I kind of forgot to provide some provision for the guy in here to get back home after this mission. So. Let's see. I mean, we're going awfully slow at this point. Here, we can even do this. Oh, we're out of monoprop now, so... Okay. idea if this is going to work. This is kind of suicidal a little bit. Uh, what's going to happen? The whole thing is going to just go wow, and go flying when the parachutes deploy, right? Probably. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Well, <laughs> he might be okay. That was interesting. I feel my need to uh, jump out. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is Bill gonna die? Oh, I'm almost out of fuel. Oh, ho, ho, this is gonna be close. I can't even stop if I want to. Okay, now we're out of fuel. Oh, I'm sorry, Bill. Ooh, I think Bill died. That sucks. Welp. <laughs> Maybe we should just quick save. Because I almost had that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh well. I might have lost Bill. That's just too bad. Well. Looks to me like we've landed properly, sort of, on our side, but landed nonetheless. So let's finally Jeb is back home. And 882 signs out of that whole shebang. Not too bad. 3,885 signs. Let's, uh,. Let's go ahead and spend it now. Uh, we'll definitely take all that stuff. Could use those big parachutes based on what we learned there last time, just now. Obviously take all the big guys. I don't know if I know how badly I need this, but yeah, we'll go ahead and take that. Definitely need that. Don't that less worried about rovers and stuff. It would be nice to have that command seat though, so let's see. Big solar panels, that we don't need. Some other probe cores, definitely useful. The big probe core would be even more useful. Hmm. Still have 700 left. Yeah, we can get that one. Okay, and that's all we can do for right now. So we're almost done. Um, figure out what we need to do next, and then we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.